Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Supreme Ruler Ultimate with me, Commissar Roach, and I'm joined by uh, Benjamin Magnus, Bundeswehr Bob, and Mordred Viking. Hello. He tried. He tried so hard. I did! It. Swear! Swear! I said swear! That's what the fucking... Uh, I, I appreciate that you're trying to say it right. Well, are you saying I still said it wrong? Because if it is, I'm just going to give up. No, I, yeah, no, I, give no, up. no I, I could tell that you were trying so hard. That's the effort that I appreciate. Now you should put the same effort into declaring war on Russia. <laughs> there we go. Ben's got some honor. Ben, ben, thank you, Ben. What? For accepting that trade deal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, got those designs that I have. I have air production facilities literally doing nothing this entire time. Well, you have one design. I have another one. I have the tactical bomber varying to that. All right. In 108 days, I'll have some Fox Pets. Let's How many uh, air production do you have? One. Oh, okay. Same as me. All right, so this is high altitude. I could fire. I sorry, I got. They have a high altitude attack of eighteen at one hundred and one kilometers. Whole game has pretty much been the war with Russia. Yeah. This is episode well, there two. Was, there was like there was like one and a half episodes of peace. It didn't last. Everything changed when the Russians attacked. Mm. Yeah, my units, are, the 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 Russian planes have really whittled down my my vintage military. How are the uh, the Portuguese moving? Slowly but surely. All right, what are we looking at up here for supplies? Oh, okay. Uh, so it's only eighteen percent done. So a long time. There you go, Portugal. That should help out a bit. All right, move up to the front, gentlemen. I don't know what you're doing over here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's that little town. Yeah, go hang out in that town. Quite a lot more advanced than what I already had. I hate the Russian Air Force. They're bitches. I think we're all thinking you're, the same about you're now. You're so far behind in some techs, uh, Mordred, that trading that actually gave me access to give you more shit. Because now, <laughs> now you're back up. To, you just went to another tier. In what? If it was like missiles, I'm not surprised. Uh, no, I can give you modern tank tech O2 now. Style of construction. Uh, Anti-personnel munitions. Advanced combat aircraft. Advanced anti-armor designs. Uh, BVR, air defense missiles, ICBM c capability, and I can still give you nuclear weapons research, but uh, I'm not going to do that. You don't want a nuclear Portugal? Oh. I'm going to keep that. Keep do, you, do you have missile production facilities? I have one. I stole it from the Russians. <laughs> yeah, I, stole, I stole a research lab Siberia. somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it was, but I took a research lab from Well, uh, Portugal can into space. Remember, we stole their <laughs> uh, space launch facilities. God, there's so many Russian planes of here. If we could take these four aircraft production facilities, we'd be able to stop building so many goddamn planes. Ah. Sent you another one, by the way, uh, Wardrobe. Cool, I'll take a look in a minute. No, no, not asking for anything, just uh, just take it. It's too bad we didn't think of uh, getting that design earlier. Yeah.
fucking fox. Like, I can build three fox bats per year, but they've already got 400 in the air, so... Yeah, it's because Maybe I've been be researching better used any, on defense or something. any land things. I've just been doing the sea. Because I wasn't really doing much land operations while we were fighting around the Baltic. It's only since we won the Baltic. Yeah, they're, they're ripping my... Ripping my military to shreds, but I gotta take- I'm gonna take these aircraft production facilities! Fuck their goddamn fo fox bats! God damn. <laughs> God damn it, Morgan. I can still give you more things. <laughs> I can give you 07 tank tech. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even built a single tank this entire game. <laughs> because this is so heavily forested, I didn't really see the point. Mechanized infantry is stronger. All right, all that's left that's defending their aircraft uh, production facilities is a grumble. I don't know what a grumble is. Looks like... Oh! Oh! Oh, they moved someone else in. Burn them down! Burn them down! Burn them to the ground! Oh, where'd they get more garrison troops from? <laughs> they materialized four new garrisons and two new tanks out of nowhere. From Moscow, just down the road. <laughs> just walk them there. <laughs> I don't have... I have sight on other units, but not those ones until they got into combat. It was a joke. It was a joke. You're... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Bratwurst, Bratwurst, very delicious. How did, this Ru how did this Russian doodle get behind my lines? Uh, hey, Bob, you you know more about this. Uh, if I was to if I was trying to mount missiles or uh, stuff onto a unit, does can that only be done in a uh, military facility, or can that be done in the field? It can be done in the field as long as the it has like supply point. So as long as it's in supply, right? Friendly supply as well. Yes. Well, I, I'm happy to announce that many stray artillery shells have hit the aircraft production facilities and knocked them offline. Nice. We swear we weren't targeting it. <laughs> the I've lost about soon. 20 units trying to assault this place. I like how they just have a whole section of helicopters sitting right next to it. Oh yeah, I don't, my air defenses are are, are are next to non-existent. So, come on, don't don't lag out on me now. Oh my god, they just, new units just keep appearing here. There's none, and then a couple more appear, and then there's none, and then a couple more. They're coming from somewhere. God damn it! You sure it's just not the garrisons popping in and out? Well, it's garrisons, and there's some other ones. Last well, they time can... it was two tanks. This one it was some APCs. There's a barracks there, so they could be going in to repair, and then uh, they don't appear. But as soon as you attack, they get pushed out, and they join the the defense. Werewolf. Oh! You took it! Huzzah! These are in order. I still got the issue that they're very upset about this for some reason. Now, now the now, now the the key here: destroy them or repurpose. <laughs> repurpose. Maybe build fox bats in there. Yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. <laughs> Repair everything. <laughs> Just start building fox bats and stuff. Yeah, aircraft production facilities. I got they're four already, now. They're already keyed to that, so it should be fast. <laughs> Theoretically, yeah, there should be some just sitting around on the production lines. <laughs> All right, so at least the fox bats they have now are going to be difficult to replace. I lost like thirty units in that due to the Russian air force. Oh, how many? Damage. How many aircraft facilities was that that you just captured? Uh, was let it me six? look at it. I think it was four. It's one, two, three, four. There's an air base and a barracks there as well. They still have twenty-two aircraft production facilities. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is okay. Russia. I just want you to know about. you can you can click on their land, like you can click on land they own. Go to the Diplomacy tab and hover your mouse over the military bar. And the first one is land. 
Second one is air. Third one is C, and the last one uh, is missile production. Those four numbers. Oh, so man. That, so they have 22 aircraft production facilities still on So Rick. I've knocked off a percentage See, of yeah, them. I mean, it's not a small percentage either. That's pre- it's a, it's, it's a significant chunk, but uh, yeah, they can still turn those bastards out pretty quick. <laughs> Yay, well, first supply air- depot's done tomorrow. Sorry, continue. We're, we're in, where? In Archangel. <laughs> a thousand miles from the front line? <laughs> we're getting closer. I'm just north of Yaris. Those Yaroslav. Portuguese have just been sitting there shivering for the last couple of months, just, just eating what's left of their rations. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck you, Russia. Oh, I hate you, Putin. <laughs> <laughs> You think this is a pain in the ass now, and we want to play the Great War next. I mean, ah, <laughs> where where we will be fighting Russia again? We'll be fighting trench warfare, Ben. I'm trench okay with warfare. that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> At least this one will be actually easier because trench warfare isn't the thing. Is the uh, trenches are built by the country that the lands inside of? Correct. Yeah, it's so, actually kind of a pain in the ass in that regard, really. Well, against AI, but it should be good uh, with us because we're, I mean, we're people. So at least we'll have, we'll be able we, to. We, uh, we can talk. Yeah, we can talk and we can coordinate trench production <laughs> and shit. Oh, no, I took another small city. Very small one. Well, there goes finally small. fallen. Aren't those Four. called towns? <laughs> <laughs> yes. A so, so, small city, aka town. I've played SimCity. I know what's up. Alrighty. 20, 66% done with my next supply doodles. Bob, you got more supply doodles coming? Yeah, I see him. He knows. Bob knows how to uh, how to brought worst. Wait. Take that back. <laughs> well, he doesn't know how to brought worst. <laughs> Not sure, Harry, where you're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> you coming Space on Space race milestone from the United Arab Emirates. And they'll make it to the moon someday. Like I've had the man on the moon text sitting in my queue for ages, probably the last two and a half recording sessions, and uh, just yeah, nuclear product, nuclear weapons production just took over. It became the more pri- the priority here. Mm-hmm. Depending on how quickly you take Moscow, uh, or how hard they uh, they defend it. Uh, Italy may have weapons that can be used against uh, the city uh, so, so, in the next so, 20 to 25 to 6 uh, 25 to 36 days. I, I imagine like after the Kremlin uh, or like right after the Kremlin falls like me and Bob's uh, you know sit down for a brandy in, in Putin's old office the phone rings it's just the Italian Prime Minister <laughs> I'm ready! You guys, you need me? That, I wouldn't, that sounds about right. I wouldn't be calling the... the. It would be forwarded <laughs> to us. It would be forwarded to us. Our, our people know where we are. <laughs> how, do, how, how do you see a unit speed? You cl- Okay. You go to... You click the unit. Mm-hmm. Go to your land tab. Uh, go to the unit presence, so it's the second uh, icon down on the on those icons oh, then you with the hex in the tank. Double click it, and it's the it's the second like uh, like it's second. it looks like a, a truck with a speedometer right behind it. Okay, three kilometers per hour. <laughs> Is that your engineers? Yeah. 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 I'm, t- I'm telling you, Ben. You could just re. Search a truck. I'm doing that right, right now. <laughs> I have trucks I'm being researched right now. Yeah, I don't know what you're expecting with them, you know. So just and that can get worse too, depending on terrain. You know so. what's funny is two entire Polish columns have driven past them on the way to the front, fought, died, taken cities, and then another one's dispatched while they're just walking. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, just, I get the image of just the general that gave the order, just like sitting there and just goes, why are these engineers not making it? They, they should have been there ages ago. <laughs> Sir, their, their trucks are outside. <laughs> trucks. <laughs> Did you give them the keys? Pulls out keychain, jingle jingle. <laughs> right about that. So, well, I guess I guess it's too it's too far along to stop now. It's, mm -hmm. gonna, <laughs> it's going as planned. All right, I'm gonna lay down a couple more supply doodles because uh, it seems like a good idea. Because they're gonna need to come. They're gonna need to be diverted to there. <laughs> yep, eventually. <laughs> Oh, so close and yet so far. Oh, Germany. Germany took another city. Good. Oh, brought this production. Oh, it is. <laughs> Germany doesn't even know anymore. <laughs> My chat goes, they're not engineers. They're Napoleonic re uh, recreators. A <laughs> bunch of LARPers wandering into Russia. <laughs> A bunch of LARPers dressed up like uh, uh, French soldiers. Although, although I think Napoleon made it to Moscow in less time than these guys. I gotta say, the I think the Soviet Air Force is starting to slow down because they do get they do you know I I do have those uh, missiles that Bob sold me that do have like a small. High air attack. Not those ones, but different ones. Whittling them down. And, you know, you know, there's wear and tear on the Russian planes from so many sorties. At least we got some brought. There's at least some brought worst up here. That's good. Let's step in the right direction. Okay, Bundeswehr. The town isn't ours if there's still a bunch of dudes in it that are bad people. You just raised a flag before clearing it out. Let them have this. <laughs> Air defense, missile production, missile production. Ooh, intelligence academy. It's it's it's, on, it's, a, it's in the line of fire now. All right, where's the next R Polish column coming? Didn't I tell them to move? Oh, they're moving. Go in. Some of them are. Get your ass is moving, fuckers. Bring it so. We need reinforcements. <laughs> don't tell me what I need. You don't know me. It's like one one Russian, uh, like like armored personnel vehicle showed up, and then I had a general who was like, "Send more men." We're out of sausages. <laughs> Fend them off. My, even with my minister set on reduce inflation, my inflation's out of control. What is it at the moment? I think it's like 10. That's still 14. Yep, 10.3. 10.3 10. 10. 10. 10. here. What is mine um, at? I haven't checked in a long time. It was like 9.6 last time I looked. 2.2. 2.2 inflation. I'm not even trying. I'm honestly like it's just the economy's running itself at this point. It's a, it's, a, it's almost it's, like war profiteering is good for business. Yeah. Well, hey, war is good for business. But then inflation will be increasing. But then again, also peace is good for business. Okay, Zach. <laughs> well, hey, now it's fine. You know what they're the doing. Situation. This is a this is a pretty uh, slow crawl out of Moscow. 
<laughs> you're just fighting through the suburbs at this point. Yeah. Like, so, like house by house fighting. <laughs> bratwurst by bratwurst. <laughs> going through all, <laughs> going through all the pantries looking for bratwurst. Yeah. Your, I must have more. All you're finding is borscht and, and whatever God, else. I can't keep eating this Russian stuff. <laughs> We have standards. Actually, I we have before, standards. So I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that more from the Polish perspective. Damn straight for production. I'm building like 14 supply depots in various places right now. The nearest uh, Polish units are. A mere 30, you know, let's see, from there to there, it's a mere like 50 kilometers away from Moscow. Yeah, who's cut off now, bitch? Yeah, my, my North... My my attempt to push in the north definitely petered out because there are no supplies up there. I just realized I had a bloody transport in Finland I forgot about. Another city fallen. Go and get him, Hercules. Bring him to the actual front line. Let's see, where are my fox bats? Ninety-five days until <laughs> ninety-five days. Where's he gone? I think we just took another city. Nope, oh, uh, some more garrisons in there. Well, if we have to, we have to eat borscht. We have to eat borscht. I'm not, I'm not happy about it, but I'll do it. Less than fifty kilometers from Moscow. The thing is, when we take the capital, it won't necessarily be the end of Russia. It depends on the rest of their military situation. Yeah. Let's see. Let's uh, let's let's see how Putin fe is feeling right now. Angry, bitter, angry, bitter. Peace offers unacceptable. What if I? What if I gave you all of my money? What do it? Nope. I'm no. I wasn't gonna do it. I was just curious. I mean, he's I looking so, for separate terms, Bob. I, Keep an eye on. I was, <laughs> I was just curious if uh, if Putin would uh, want out of this in any way. It doesn't seem like they, they, him, he, Poots. Doesn't seem like he, Poots is too interested. It. <laughs> Economy's doing pretty good. Apparently, you can't air transport um, transport vehicles. That's annoying. Uh, you can. You just check your air transport to make sure that it. You look at how much it can carry in terms of tons, and look how much that weighs. Yeah, it weighs six hundred, and it can carry two forty. But I think most of that's because he's carrying stuff. <laughs> Never mind. You say, wait, he's, if it if it weighs six hundred, and he can only carry two forty. Yeah, I understand, but uh, I yeah. think he weighs that heavily because he's carrying resources because he's a transport what? vehicle. I think 600 tons sounds about right for a plane, doesn't it? No, he's saying the transport or the the, the supply transport cost is way 600. Yes. Hold on, I'll give you something mortared. Well, I'll if it requires building it, I'm not going to do it. I'm ju I'm just driving. It's fine. It's no, just, I'm uh, he's I'm just assembled. going to give you one of my I'm going to give you one of my 10s or one of my 30 C5A galaxies that can carry 2000 tons. I'm kind of surprised today. Hercules can only carry two hundred. I mean, yeah, it's an early, it's an early transports. 
So uh, the the Polish engineers have almost arrived at Veliki Luki, which was the town that we were originally building supply depots in. Well, thank God. <laughs> They're gonna get to gonna get to their positions and just be like, "Nope, we're done." Oh. More Russian tanks appear every now and again. Not too many, but some. Oh, actually, you know what? I could totally do that. Um, let's move you guys Never mind. Doesn't look like I can give it to you. Yeah, it's don't worry. Too I, technologically backward. I have a different <laughs> plan. I'm going to use the air transport to transport <coughs> supplies instead of carrying a transport, which will then carry the supplies by land. That makes sense. He's a madman. I know, crazy. We seem to be far. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've got my helicopters. I should probably be using those too. Um, that's a Polish Air Force. How about you redeploy to that air base? What are Italian planes out here for? Don't worry about it. Uh oh. I bet what's going to happen is Roach nukes one of us. No. God. I mean, Bob Bolt each just took a town. What do you think? I'm a monster? Yes. Well. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> you are. I mean, you're no burrito Mussolini, but you know. Mmm, burritos. Now I'm hungry. We're, we're pretty close to Moscow now, Bob. Yeah, we're, we're working on it. Germans are coming around from the south. Poles are coming in from the north and the west. And the Portuguese are just cold. <laughs> well, I'm about to take sharp ups, there. which will mean that the northern Polish can join the offensive on Moscow. Yeah, I, have, I haven't been able to do anything with these guys because of the supply situation up there. Yeah, I'm it's working too bad. on fixing that. Looks like we are over time. We're at uh, 28 minutes. No, you. <laughs> so, thank you for joining us for this. It was me, right? Yes. Yep. Thank you for joining us for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below. Also, uh, hit that like button. If you uh, want to take a look at any of the other perspectives, uh, the links are down below in the description, as well as our Discord and Patreon links. And we will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye. See you later. Bye.